Este video lo voy a hacer en inglés porque ya lo tengo en español. Me lo han estado pidiendo en inglés en vía ahí en los comentarios públicos y por vía interna. So um, this video will be in English, guys. People have been asking me for it, and here I am. I will try to do my best. This is the template that I will use. It's gonna be almost the same. That uh, diamond will be at uh, three inches by uh, two inches by three. And the vinyl is this, but it's a black vinyl. It is marine vinyl. Most of the time for motorcycle seat, I use a marine vinyl. It is hard to work with it most of the time, but I prefer using marine vinyl because it doesn't get hot that much. And the thread that I will use, it is a Sangar. You can buy that thread by, uh, it's a T270. So it's a thickness thread. And I have to put this uh, phone in there because this phone is hard. You have to put a lot of glue. You have to mold in that phone according to the shape of the motorcycle seat frame. So you have to put glue. The glue that I am using is a land down glue. You can buy that glue in any apostle supplies. I must stay in the United States. Must stay because some stay. I get banned. People, uh, they are not selling no more. So, uh, but you can buy it on Amazon and eBay. So I uh, just make sure to put a lot of glue in there on both phone and the metal and uh, start giving the shape. And you can see on there. It is one inch thickness phone. The density of that phone is 3.0 pound of density, so it is hard. And you will start cutting. You see, I am using a tool, a uh, mini electrical saw, but you can use any uh, sharp knife that you have it on your house. You can use a utility knife. The most important thing is to cut it. It's not necessary to have this kind of tool. I had this tool. I use this tool because I use I do this for a living. So. And you can see right there. I almost done cutting. So I cut off everything, but I has to sand it a little bit because the dots edges are not like a uh, smoothest and it's not like it's an even. So I'm gonna make that part even, make it look nice. And you can see right there, I am using a grinder with the it's a power tool, but if you don't have this uh, kind of tool, you can use a cheese grater. I have uh, my recent video, if you uh, watch my recent video, when I am repairing the phone, I use that kind of, uh, I say it's a tool and it works fine. But sometimes I have to use this. With this tool, it is faster and it is easier. Of course, if you never uh, use it before, you have to learn how to use it, but it's not a big deal. People who do car interior like me, uh, furniture, both interior, uh, we depend a lot from this kind of tool, especially when we have to, when we make like a custom car, uh, car interior, this tool it is so important. And you can see it right there. This process it is very important to make it uh, nice because if you don't sand it uh, well, uh, you can see sometimes you can see the pump or you can see that uh, an even area through the, uh, the cover. I almost got the right shape. And you can see him on there. So after I, I, I sand it, you can see how nice it look. You have to divide the seat by half because you have to draw the diamond. You have to know, uh, because this diamond is gonna be two inches by three, that would be the side. You have to figure out how big will be the piece uh, that you're going to cut it. And you will start drawing those diamonds on that piece of vinyl. I use that, uh, that's like a template, that's just to show to the customer. But I'm going to start cutting the vinyl. But first, before you start cutting, you have to know the dimension of that piece. 
is going to be 18 by 27. And here I got the vinyl. Before you uh, cut, the, uh, cut out the vinyl, make sure to square the vinyl. If you never uh, draw a diamond before, this might be like tricky, it might be hard for you. A lot of people use like templates to draw this, I do everything manually. And I am giving three inch right there, three inches. And right here I am giving, I'm gonna give two inches. So after I draw those, um, after I, pu I put those marks in there, you're gonna cut the binder. And I prefer putting the phone and then drawing the diamond. The mark are there, but I prefer doing it this way. If you used to do or you prefer to do it or drawing the diamond before uh, putting the glue in the phone, that's fine. That's fine. I prefer doing this way. And I am putting glue on both sides. You see them on there. If you don't have a glue gun, you have to put glue by hand. Just buy the glue by a brush and start applying glue by hand. I used to do it that way a long time ago. So I got that piece of vinyl right here, glued it to the phone. And now, I'm going to start uh, drawing those lines. Because it is a small motorcycle seat, uh, the diamond it has to be a small. If it, this motorcycle seat was big, maybe it would be uh, 2 inches, uh, 2.5 and by 3.5 or by 4 inches. Even by, by 4 inches is like, a, I would say like a too big because the motorcycle uh, is, seat is small. And I start drawing all those lines. You can use a chart to draw those lines. I am using a special pencil uh, for vinyl and leather. I draw those lines already, then I have to draw the other line. And you can see uh, the timing in there. You can make a motorcycle seat out of, out of leather and it will be the same process. Uh, out of fabric will be the same process. Three inches, two inches by three. That's the side. And you can see him on there. So after I done uh, drawing those diamonds, first thing that you have to uh, make sure is to check your sewing machine. Uh, because uh, if you're going to use a, a thick thread, make sure to adjust the tension. Make sure. I already check it so and it is uh, sewing good and I'm going to start sewing this time. And you can see me there, I still adjust it by minimum. If you never use a sewing machine before, uh, don't do this. First thing that you have to do is practice it. Practice it a lot, my friend, a lot, until you um, get familiar with the sewing machine, Ant until you're learning the basic. Those stitches have to be straight. When you are using a different color thread, uh, any mistake will be so uh, notable. People can see it from far away. Make sure to uh, to practice it before. Imagine I am using a black vinyl with yellow thread. If I don't sew it right, this thing, uh, this will look ugly. Everything can be so nice, but if you put one stitch, one of those stitch crooked, that will kill everything, my friend, everything. And 
and you can see Mondel sewing exactly on top of that mark. I put that material in there. This video was recorded uh, uh, four years ago and I upload to the channel like uh, two, around two years ago. I put that material in there because uh, my machine was uh, uh, breaking the thread and I am putting that material in there. In the recent video, I am not using that material there. And I am sewing. You can see him on there. For uh, if you are learning, this will be a this will be the hardest part for you. Putting those stitches straight. Putting a top stitch straight, frame stitch uh, stitch straight. That will be hard for you. But remember, you are learning. You are not an expert. You are in that process to be an expert. And everybody who do car interior, we have been through that part. And like that, you're going to sew all those pleats, all those diamonds. And here is another view. So that that part, that that panel is, is done. I done sewing. So now I have to take it to the uh, table, and start uh, tracing the material. First, you have to find out the center, and you have to draw a line. Remember the motorcycle seat. I draw one line in there, and you have to put one mark on top of the other one. You can put some weights in there, just uh, uh, holding the material. Or you can put a little bit of glue, enough to hold that part, enough to hold it. Like I did, I put glue, enough to hold it. Now it is time to trace it. You're going to draw a that this sign or that motorcycles it will have. And most of the time, most of the time, that mark it has to be exactly on top of that edge. That phone had like an edge, sharpened edge. So that mark it has to be exactly on top of there. Most of the time, that customer bring the design show you the design and sometimes you can uh, have to make it exactly what he want and sometimes he had the design but he say oh can you adjust it right here i don't want this part right here how it look can you adjust it and you have to work with the customer it's a customer idea You, uh, one thing that you have to uh, be careful if you are making a, a cover, any cover with diamond, make sure to both sides, right and left side, be equal. Make sure that. You see what I'm doing on there? I have to make sure to both sides look equal. Because it is diamond. If you right there were a plain piece, it doesn't matter, right? Uh, just draw it on top of the edge and but right here you have to be careful see that mark in there one is exactly on top of the other one that's the way it should be and I, now I unglue that part and I put a stitch I put that stitch half inch away from that mark 
half inch away. I didn't cut it like I'm most of the time I do. No, I take it to a sewing machine. And after I, I done putting that stitch, I will cut it. And I got it right here, I already cut it. And you can see them on there. Now you just have to fold it. Why do I fold it? Why do you have to fold it? To make sure both sides are equal. That's why. You fold it if it has pleats, it has diamond, or if it doesn't have any design. If it is a plain piece, you have to fold it. I recommend you to fold it by half. So I got it right here. Now I just making sure that piece uh, fit perfectly in there. And it does. And you can say anything that I notice in case if I don't know, I, I notice something that is not right, I will adjust it. It is time to adjust it. Like I'm going to do right there. That is normal. And it is better to adjust it now because you haven't sewn in the side panel yet. I just adjusted the front uh, part of this motorcycle seat and the cover and same thing I am adjusting the back of this motorcycle seat cover. I just put in my mark in there and you, are, you can see right that mark in there. So I done with this uh, third panel. Now I'm going to start uh, cutting the side panel. And like most of the time I put uh, glue in there just enough to hold that side panel. But if this was fabric, I don't put glue, I just uh, use a upholstery pin. If you notice on there, that piece of vinyl look uh, thickness. I put a uh, 1.8 thickness headliner material. It's a phone. It's for backing. By adding that uh, phone in there, I want this motorcycle seat to last for longer. When you are in front of the vinyl, you make the vinyl stronger. And this is a marine vinyl, so this uh, is gonna be like. Ah, uh, when you put a, when you're going to put a top stitch, uh, just be careful if you don't have experience. Most of the marine vinyl, the cutlass cutlass marine vinyl, is. It's good to work with it. But this is a hard binder. You can see me trace them on there. And you will see me later putting some mark in there. Some notches. Those are very important because you have to uh, sew this side panel with the other piece. And you have to make sure both sides look even. You see I am drawing those marks in there. I am drawing that line in there. And that line should be exactly where you draw the third panel. And I am cutting half inch away from that mark. Uh, when I am sewing this piece, I have to make sure to take in half inch. So this piece is done and I have to cut the other one exactly by this, but it's just the opposite. And I am cutting this uh, piece. I got this done. And this is this size. And then the other pieces belong to the other side. I just put that mark in there because I will put a stitch in there. See me putting that mark in there. I need to put a stitch in there. Why are I going to put a stitch in there? 
because it has a 18 thickness font. So now I just uh, take into a sewing machine and, and put those pieces together. Remember those notches, guys. Put one exactly on top of that other one. If you do a, a custom carpet material, you know that those marks are so important. Uh, if you are learning about a uh, carpet interior, about upholstery, how many notches are you going to put them on the piece? If it, that piece have a, like a special shape curve, make sure to put a lot of mark, a lot of mark. But if it is kind of straight and you are learning, put so. Uh, put those marks too. If you have experience and you are sewing uh, straight pieces, you know uh, the experience uh, that you have. You know that those uh, mark might be not not might be not be necessary for you. And I go in slow, making sure those notches match each other, because that's the point. And those pieces, I just put the, the stitch that are going to be underneath. But then I will put another stitch. And for this stitch, it has to be a, a that thickness thread, the yellow T270. You can buy that thread on Amazon, eBay. Right there are so cheap. If you go to the upholstery supplies, it might be a little bit expensive. And you have to go sewing it slow because you are putting a top stitch. And uh, because I recorded this video a long time ago, and back then, um. Can I say this? I didn't. Well, I still learning about using my camera. So back, but but back there, back then, I didn't have any experience. So I just put my camera in one place and start recording. And and for example, right there, you know, I am fold. I am I'm, I'm folding the material that is underneath, uh, away from the needle, separating. When you are putting a top stitch, make sure to do that. But when you are putting a French stitch, sometimes you have to put a, a, another extra material under, and sometimes you don't. And I put the first stitch, the top stitch, now you're going to put uh, the stitch on the other side. And make sure to go slow. I'm only going to show you how you can do this size. And then um, I'm not going to show you how to do the other side. Uh, And then those uh, taps, uh, those French stitch are done. Now I'm going to put a uh, glue right here on both sides. What I want um, by putting glue is to make sure that piece of vinyl, that insert, follow the shape of the motorcycle seat. 
other way can be on the air and I don't want to be like that. Make sure to put those marks exactly one on top of the other one. Other way the motorcycle seat cover will look crooky, will look weird. And you don't want that to happen. After all that I ha you have been done, you don't want at the end, just because you didn't mount and right, the cover uh, look like if you didn't sew it right. Sometimes the cover can be perfect, nice, but if you didn't uh, install it right, will look like if you cut it crooked, like if you sewing, pulling those pieces wrong. I put glue and I am cutting on there. I didn't cut the foam on that edge because I want to. Um, I don't want the vinyl to be having like contact directly to the metal. And then just folding. You can see a lot of wrinkles are behind, but that part um, once you won't see it. But I will trim nice on there. Even if the customer is not going to see it, you see I trim so nice and I put some river. Now I'm going to put a, this material it is awesome working with it. This is a trunk lining uh, material and it stretch a lot. If you are doing a motorcycle seat cover, I recommend you to put this kind of material because it is, uh, first it is flexible. It is not like carpet and it, it, it look nice. You might say, well, but right there, you just say it, it doesn't see it. Yeah, it doesn't see it, but uh, uh, when the customer come and take the motorcycle seat from your office, he will see it from the top, then he will twist it, and he will see it from the bottom. And on the top will look nice, and during that moment, the customer will see it on the bottom, and will see those river in there. And to me, like the way I see it, it is not right. We should put something on there, of course. There are some exception when you don't have to put nothing in there. If you see me uh, uh, doing a motorcycle seat, I have a lot of motorcycle seat in my playlist. Just search for motorcycle seat, and most of the time I do that. Most of the time, there are some that I I don't put a trunk lining. But like I said, there are some exception. See, I trace it, but I didn't cut it. I put glue. And then I am cutting. You might say, why you didn't cut him and then you put glue? Because I don't want I don't want to see the glue on that edge of the trunk lining. That's why. I am cleaning right here. I am removing the glue right there because when I put glue, I spray over that part and I don't want glue in there. I don't want nothing to see about glue in there. So I am using the uh, the gasoline, uh, the cheapest one. What is it? Cheapest one, 87, 89, I think it's something like that. And I remove the glue. Now I am putting this strong line on there. And, and you can see, guys, that thing looks awesome in there. It looks nice. It looks nice. Sometimes I made a motorcycle seat frame out of the fiberglass, sometimes, but this customer being the motorcycle seat, um, he made it out of metal. And this motorcycle seat is almost done. Almost done. And there it is, it is done. So now I just have to clean it, make sure to remove any uh, mark. And you can see him on there. It takes time because it is uh, making out a diamond, but a diamond look nice. And that thread, that accent right there, 
make it look beautiful. If you same thing that you see him on the right side, same thing is on the left side. See right there? Same thing, equal. If you are making a motorcycle, see that a diamond, make sure to uh, keep on mind those little details. So thank you for watching this video. This is just an idea. I try my best. People were asking me for this video in English. I ha and I have it in Spanish for uh, almost like a two years ago, I think. But I recorded this video a long time ago, like a four years ago. And here it is. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. And if that was the case, don't forget to hit the like button. 